when it comes to regulating the ai governments and the regulators have started to take actions against it completely evident really this is an emerging technology when it comes to the regulations and legislations uh, being released by the uh, countries i would say act now hello everyone welcome to the risk associates official platform we are excited to kick off this series uh, to tell you guys how ISO 42001 plays a critical role into the organizations that are uh, taking part in artificial intelligence management system. We have with us our very own Vakas Asif, who has two decades of experience in certification services, internal audits, risk assurances, and risk management. Uh, thank you very much, Vakas, for joining us. It's a pleasure. Thanks a lot, Zaran, for having me here and providing me an opportunity to discuss ISO 42001. The pleasure is all us. So let's start with the foundation, Vakas. Could you please tell other audiences like what exactly is ISO 42001? Zaran, if you ask me regarding ISO 42001, it is the first international dedicated standard for artificial intelligence management system. It covers the complete life cycle, right. starting from when it's been designed, then to the deployment, and then the uh, monitoring part. Wow, so I mean the quantum is quite huge of that. Yes, the quantum is huge and when it comes to the applicability of this uh, standard, it's applicable on the producers, it's applicable on the providers and the users of artificial intelligence. Apart from this, the most important part is like anyone who is a user or a provider has to have some controls in place and those have been drafted and designed by ISO and embedded into 42001. Absolutely, because what I can uh, hear and see and read about ISO 42001, it's just in incredible to see that it's not only just for the tech companies, it's as you mentioned, that it's all about the producers, developers, and every, every company that is just part of it to adapt 42001 management system. That's true. Since we have registered like the importance and the foundation of this standard, so I would like to deep, dig in deep further regarding what the core structure of the standard and how does it flow through. ISO 4001 is more about the transparency, trustworthiness and the transparency of the AI systems. It is based on the regulatory requirements, stakeholder needs, and the legislations varying across the world. That means that when we are talking about the criticality and the core structure, so probably everything, any any organization that is a part of uh, the artificial intelligence uh, the, and the controls that are designed in such a way that all of those controls are applicable all to those organizations and they are covered through it. Obviously, it's about the objectivity to avoid the biasness, ensuring the fairness, and ensuring that the algorithms being used in the artificial intelligence are controlled. That was a very insightful uh, discussion regarding the core structure of the standard. Now, I would like to dig in deep further in terms of you know the foundational principles that are aligned with the ISO 42001. What's your point of view on that? When it comes to ISO 42001, it has introduced some concepts. Mm -hmm. One of them is intended use, and the other is identification of the risk appetite which directly correlates to the controls, those have to be embedded within the organization due to its specific uh, internal control requirements. So that means our audience should be familiar with all of those um, controls that you just mentioned right now to have that structured organizational structure in place. Yes, obviously, when it comes to the structure of the uh, clauses of ISO 4201, it provides the organization the structure flow of the way the controls have to be implemented, starting from the context to the organization, performing the risk assessment, having a continual improvement, performing internal audits. Right, yeah. I mean, as, as compared to all of those standards that are pre, that are prevailing currently in the market, for instance, if I talk about ISO 27001, so uh, the basic structure of the management system from the clauses that we refer to are primarily the more or less the same in nature in terms of when it comes to the numbers. Exactly. There are like hardly any few uh, differences uh, between ISO 27001 and 42001 clauses. Right, right. Well, if you, if you talk about the strategy in terms of, you know, uh, 
Why do you think um, ISO 40001 plays such an important role at the organizational level? Zaran, when it comes to the ISO 27001, it was primarily focusing on the uh, cyber security or information security. Whereas, when it comes to the ISO 40001, it is discussing about the security of the AI systems, the way it's been used and the way it's been governed. Reason being, security can be for any specific uh, system that can be there in the organization. Can be any, but when it comes to the AI, it has a different logic of the way the way they work. And of course, since the, since we are evolving so much globally, and even the companies that are adopting the um, artificial intelligence into their organization, so I believe that it is it is uh, very uh, crucial and important for them to gradually adopt uh, to this cycle, so that uh, you know they have that cutting edge over their competitors and everything. Yeah, and uh, ISO 421 is like structuring the uh, overall AIE structure uh, with the concept of proportionality. With the proportionality, you can balance the risk and the controls that those can be put in place uh, for your uh, artificial intelligence environment. Coming back to strategy again, Vakas, as we were just mentioning, um, since all of those organizations are you know, evolving globally in terms of the perspective for the um, artificial intelligence. now. At the organizational level, how do you think, um, like, uh, what is the foundational principles that are very important uh, to devising that strategy for organizations? For any organization, trust is a strategic asset when it comes to AI. No matter you are working with the regulator, you are working with the producer, you are working with your users, or you are working with the legislators or any law enforcement agency, they need trust and trust comes from a certification like ISO 401 which provides a certain level of assurance that the, your uh, AI systems are secure, they are dependable and the usage will be fair. Yeah, that, so that, that, that means there is a bifurcation between the regulatory alignment between the internal and the external perspectives between the organizations. That means let if you talk about the internal regulatory alignment, so there are of course technical alignments, uh, legal alignments, and of course the leadership itself is aligned. And of course the regular external perspective is also that as just you mentioned. So I mean, this is this is beyond, uh, this is really great. Uh, Anything else that you would like uh, to shed light onto for our, uh, for our audiences on that perspective? When it comes to the regulations, uh, there are a lot of regulations emerging across the world right now. And uh, regulations are coming under the legislations by specific countries. For instance, EU has a regulation for artificial intelligence. NIST AI framework uh, is being uh, launched by a US entity then there are certain uh, regulations which are under planning stage in the Far East and uh, Central Asian states as well and South Asia, East Asia as well. So when it comes to regulating the AI, this is an emerging technology and uh, governments and the regulators have started to take actions against it. And obviously we'll be seeing uh, the uh, regulations emerging and ISO 4001 is summing up all of them. It's, it has like uh, put in place all the requirements into the one bucket of this standard. Yeah, it's completely evident, really. <laughs> yeah, and you know what, uh, Zaran, uh, when it comes to the standard and the regulators, the most important element is people should know as well. Hmm. People, which includes the uh, data scientists, it includes the developers, it includes the people who are uh, operating the artificial intelligence systems or even the users. So ISO one is giving a framework. Goes goes without saying. Goes without saying. What do you say to an organization or multiple organizations that are not yet feeling the pressure to act, just given the crucial importance of this standard? When it comes to the regulations and legislations uh, being released by the uh, countries, I would say act now. And before it's too late. Reason being, when the regulations will arrive, there will be a firefighting and there will be a very huge shortage of the uh, experienced resources to comply with them. 
So rather than failing at that time, it's better to be an early starter. And in terms of the competitive advantage, I believe Risk Associates is a great platform that can provide the competitive advantage towards their customers, partners, investors, um, all across the senior leadership that, uh, of the organizations that we support uh, from day-to-day -day activities. Very true. And when it comes to the competitive advantage, it will allow the organizations to grow build trust and be an early adopter. What about risk management? Uh, given the issues with risk management uh, in regards to the bias or unintended consequences, so what's your take on that? ISO 42001 provides a structured approach towards risk management. It provides you the structure for identifying the AI assets, identify the risk against it, then mitigate the risk after the assessment. And design the controls and embed the controls within the AI documentation as part of the management system under ISO 4001. Okay, great. So uh, if, we, if we think about it from that perspective, so in regards to the stakeholder communication, so does it help as well? Obviously, the best part is that stakeholders would know that you are serious about fairness and uh, acceptable use of AI. That is the first part. Secondly, they'll develop the trust just because you will be certified against the very structured standard under the clauses and the control requirements. Obviously, as, as you rightly mentioned, because of the clauses and the controls that are there in place. So I guess it's a pretty vast umbrella that uh, the organizations are following and they, they, they feel protected by adopting such, an, such a management system. It's not just the organization itself is the organization, people working within it, regulators, legislators, users, and the public at large. Absolutely, all the stakeholder umbrella. Yes, all the stakeholders, and the stakeholders include the board of directors as well, because yeah. they, after all, are looking for profits. And the profit comes when the people are trusting their services. Absolutely. Vakas, now let's talk about um, or shift our perspective from the standard itself towards the implementation and of course how RA is you know helping organizations play that vital step in, in adopting to that standard because since we all know that risk associates are a team of professionals that and uh, we have all our risk consultants professionals on board and of course uh, a great audit team about it and implementation partners so how does RA is playing that vital role? At Risk Associates, we are all in one. Mm -hmm. Starting from, we are the risk assessors, we are the implementers, and we are the auditors. Mm -hmm. We have the complete life cycle available. Mm -hmm. We also provide the assistance to the clients, starting from the gap assessment, we perform the risk assessments, we perform the risk mitigation through design of development of controls, and the documentation, which is pertaining mm -hmm. to aims, we also provide the services for performing the performance evaluation. We also provide services for the internal audit and obviously certification services as well. I mean, we are covering the whole array of and stack of services that we are, obviously we are providing to our existing customers and the potential new clients as well that, that will be onboarded. And given the amount of certifications and, uh, and the credentials that our team has in terms of all of those uh, relevant certifications, I believe that's, that's uh, you guys are doing a very, very wonderful job. And the way we are retaining the uh, talent in terms of the ISO 4001, we have the uh, certified uh, senior lead auditors mm -hmm. and we also have the certified senior lead implementers as well uh, for ISO 4001. That gives us an edge and confidence to the clients for opting to bringing in risk associates. Of course, that goes without saying. It's, we have covered so much um, of the implementation and every other management system perspective, so much in detail. Now, I would like to know that how Risk Associates has that advantage and is you know working towards the artificial intelligence management systems and the applications for all other businesses that we cater. Zaran, I've explained the expertise of management systems. Mm -hmm. Now I'll come back to the actual expertise which pertains related to the applications and the systems of AI. Okay. We have worked on different use cases already. 
uh, including autonomous systems, predictive analysis systems. We have worked on the AI in finance. We have also worked in uh, gaming AIs and many other use cases. So when it comes to the uh, risk associates, we are not uh, just the management system based uh, uh, advisory firm. We have the expertise over different AI applications and technologies as well. So that means we are just, you know, not only serving one segment of the market, we are targeting all of the uh, potential uh, technical market that we can, be it in any fields of finance, uh, technology, gaming and whatsoever. That's true. Thank you very much, Vakas, for your time. It was truly a pleasure having you with us. And uh, it's such an insightful session that we had regarding the ISO 42001. So truly a learning curve for me and the audiences that we have. Guys, we are on this journey of ISO 42001 to have such more and more insightful sessions with Vakas. Um, so stay tuned and we will be back with you shortly.